All right. The show opens up with fireworks exploding outside of the arena. Quiet cheering can be heard even outside. Once the camp pans inside, fireworks are also exploding on the inside, and the capacity crowd is going nuts. Announcer. <coughs> Here we go again with WCW Thunder, the first WCW show since 2001. Tonight we have an explosive show for you as we kick off the show with GM Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie's music hits. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, camera changes to the interior of a nicely furnished office and a... Oh, no music. Never mind. It's backstage. Uh, furnished office and a desk with a Packard... Uh, for Stephanie... A uh, desk with the Packard... Furnished office and a desk with the Packard for Stephanie McMahon. I'm not sure what he meant to say there. Um... Stephanie looks up from her desk with a smile. Tonight is a historic... A placard! Is that a PL? Because it says... A placard! Save. There you go. Now it says a placard. There you go. A package. <laughs> Stephanie just looking at her package. Um, tonight is a historic night. A night that will break records and begin stories anew. With my leadership, I will soar WCW's ratings over our competition and leave them in the dust. I will show why I am the McMahon that will lead this business into the future. I have the most groundbreaking ideas and the roster that is made to destroy the competition. I should be a female, right? My brother and father are great businessmen and great leaders. Neither, though, have the roster or the drive to accomplish what I will accomplish. Accomplish. We will make history in sports entertainment, and tonight is the beginning of the era. The era of thunder. A camera pans out as it leaves the office of Stephanie. We head to the ring for the first match of the evening. Damn it! Change it to WCW, you moron! This happened at last year's Survivor Series. <coughs> they knew that far in advance that this was happening. <laughs> Mr. Auto corrected me. Triple H's package on her desk. Nice. <laughs> Steph just staring at trickle, Triple H's package sitting on her desk. Hi, guys. How you doing? Um, this is Stephanie McMahon. Um, package. Oh, uh, what? What? You were there, too. Nice. This is an Extreme Rules match. Tommy Dreamer versus Raven. Go ahead and spoil it for us, a friend guy, if you want. You did last time, whether I told you, even though I told you not to. So, you do what you want. Apparently, yeah, it's all good. Up, oh, they've got a bat, and oh, a pop in the mouth, and a clothesline. The bat goes flying. Luckily, we won't see any countouts here on WCW, unless this isn't unless. They're fighting in non-extreme rules matches. But for this match, we're not going to see a count out. EC dub. EC dub. EC dub.
Sorry, that didn't happen. So didn't happen. Thought I paused it. Oh, the brutality! Boy, God! <laughs> Thug's like, oh great, I gotta work that in the show now. Why did Rock interrupt this? <laughs> I need to take some relief. That coughing gave me a headache. Perfect. Ugh. I hate how fragile my brain is. One bad cough and my headache comes in full blown. Giggity, he said blown. You know what? Mental note. Even flow DDT. Tommy Trick Dreamer kicks out of the even flow DDT, and Raven is like, I don't know what to do. He kicked out of our best move. Maybe I'll go out and get a table. And a table it is. Oh, getting that table tired out, Raven. And that table is light as a feather as uh, is it slides it swipes the side of T of Tommy Dreamer's foot and flies out of the ring. Strong double axe handle and Raven's in control again. Too sweet. Sweet! The crowd is going wild for this Extreme Rules match. They have not seen brutality like this since D WWE reincorporated w ECW. Incorporated is definitely the wrong word, but I didn't feel the need to correct myself, so... And there's your winner! Hardcore rules match! Was it finished with a chair shot? No! Was it a jump off the ladder? No! Did he even hit him with his finisher? No! It was a roll up! A freaking schoolboy! Tommy Dreamer wins with a schoolboy! There it is. Tommy Dreamer has taken the first match against Raven. Guys, you were you were there. As we head to commercial. Then we come back from commercial.
The next match is a tag team match. The first team. Farouk and Bradshaw, D-A-P-A. And their opponents. Everything goes dark in the stadium. Oh, you know what? Does not say. Does not say that Bray is with him. It just says the Wyatt family. Those two. So, I, don't, I guess Bray did not come to the ring for this match. So this one here should be, and it's on SmackDown. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and this should be a slobber knocker here. These are two of the hardest hitting knockdown. He does not because he uh, is uh, a download. He's not a downloadable character. He's part of the game. Uh, I've considered getting one. It's just we're running low on spots at this point. Um, Let's see how things play out. I may get him for you with the APA. I considered getting you him because I knew that's what you wanted. But uh, I didn't. Like, I literally had to throw away people I didn't want to get rid of yet um, for Tommy Dreener, you know. So uh, let me at least get a list of the people. Because, honestly, it's just a matter of getting a list of the people we're not using that I can delete so that I know I can go back and use them. Just because they're not downloaded doesn't mean I can't say, Hey, Mandy Rose, I want her. Let me delete one of my people to get her. But I need to know. So it's just a matter of working things in. I'm not grabbing Caitlyn damn Jenner. And yes, that's the, his given birth name. Caitlyn damn Jenner. Actually, you know what I mean. It's not his given name because Caitlyn's not his given name. Boom! Big brawlers, hard-hitting moves, no flips here. This is just going to be hard-hitting, hard nose. A lot of words that start and end with hard wrestling. Finisher hit with car. Yes, I... Uh know exactly what you're talking about. DDT! Rowan goes down, and he goes down hard. Ooh, step on his face, Bradshaw. You are a former world champion. <laughs> Former U.S. champion, former tag team champion, your partner is a former WCW world champion, uh, former tag team champion. He says damn a lot. You guys, you guys are in good shape here. You should be able to take the Wyatt family, no problem. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to jinx them. Let's go Wyatt's.
Oh, choke slam by Eric Rowan. Big choke slam. But instead of going for the cover, he tags out to Luke Harper. Finisher, damn a lot. <laughs> He just says a lot of damn. I'm not exactly sure. The Daminator. Yep, there you go. Get out my ring. The damn, damn Daminator. I assume this is a created character, so it doesn't... I don't know what... Uh, I'm assuming they gave him the Daminator as... Uh, the Dominator as they should have. And if they did, yes, he could totally call it the Daminator. You could totally steal that. That would be awesome. Luke Harper doesn't do the... the Gator roll anymore, and he should. Damn, damn, Bigelow. <laughs> All these great ideas the universe is giving you, Thug. This is what must, it must be like to be a real writer, where it's like, oh, it'd be great. You could call it the damn, damn Bigelow, and you could put them together with, uh, with Farouk, and they could be the Daminators. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, that's great stuff, guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do to work that in. Yeah, no, that's great. I, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <coughs> Boom! Sit down, bitch. Get out the way. Farouk not taking the other writers on his staff. Oh, there you go. I feel a tag team move coming. No! Luke Harper reverses it. Oh, and then takes an elbow to the nose. That's not smart. Shouldn't be taking elbows to the nose. A big time slam. Tyler Breeze. See, and that's what I'm saying. Raw actually doesn't have that great of a roster. I, quote unquote, allowed, as much as, you know, whatever, I allowed them to get better rosters than me. Um, I like Fandango so much better than I like Breeze. Um,. But that's me. Um, but I kind of like allowed them to get the more stacked rosters and felt like I can make mine just as good of a show with my writing, I hope. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I like... Um, I almost said Jim Powers. Wow, did I go back to, to the... The Young Stallions there, Jim Powers. Wow. Um, um, oh gosh, wh why am I drawing a blank on his name? Um, I like the wrestler. I like the guy. Uh, I liked him in NXT. He won season two of NXT. He beat out EC3 and Tyrus slash Brodus Clay, Derek Bateman EC3 and uh, Brodus Clay Tyrus to win season three of NXT. I really liked him. Now, personally, I like Derek Bateman the best. Derek Bateman was my favorite, and he's gone on to prove that he should have won. He's better than Fandango. Um, but they gave him this Fandango gimmick, and everything's been downhill from there. 
but I just I really liked the guy. I thought he was good. Nope, not gonna happen. Thug is gonna totally make them into. He's gonna pair him up with Damian Sandow and put him and his Adrian his Adonis gimmick from uh, TNA. He's already told me. Spoilers, guys. This is what's coming. Um, Triple H is next. No stealing sand out, though. Too late. I gave him the idea. He's doing it. And Harper is bloodied. He is bleeding all over the place. He's bleeding, bleeding profusely, as as Gorilla Monsoon would say. This is one heck of a slobber knocker, as Jim Ross would say. I think he broke him in half. Oh my God! As Joey Styles would say, it's just crazy. They will be the stable of downtrodden, and they will be heels. <sighs> he's a leader for the title right now. I think uh, Michael Bennett... Oh, no. He, he's the only person in the title picture. Yeah. I mean, it's a round-robin tournament, so it doesn't mean it's over yet. But Did did Farouk just break up the pin? Did, did Farouk... Someone tell me. Someone watching tell me. Did Farouk just break up the pin on his own partner I mean his own partner was giving to Luke Harper are we seeing a, a, a tag team breakup already on the first show boom you know what I think I may have the matches on the long match setting no he got up at his own okay that's fine thug I gotta check the the length of match setting. Maybe I have these matches on too long, and not that I'm gonna change it tonight, today, but I can change it in the future. Dad, yeah, get off of that! No one wants to play Mobile Strike. Brad started trying to draw out the pain. Brad had got up on his own. He was like, we're not ready yet. Farouk looking really tired on the apron all of a sudden. I don't know. I mean, nowadays where we don't sell at all, Farouk may be overselling at this point. Oh. Hard miss. Boom, and he takes one on the jaw. Knee breaker, and Rowan will get a chance to go tag out. No, he's just going to sit there and continue, knowing that Harper's in worse shape than even he is. Full Nelson slam. Um, shades of test one of the greatest wrestlers of all time testicle test and his testicles I agree with that assessment, Fang. 
He's got people from the past, people from today. SmackDown has that too, but it's just solid. SmackDown's roster has all the main eventers, and not all of them, because, you know, Rock has his share. I mean, Thug has his share of those big name main eventers. It's funny because of hysterical. <laughs> it's funny because of steroids. That's funny. I was a testicle. I was. Ding, ding, ding. And Bradshaw got tired of drawing out the match. The camera. APA defeats Farouk and Bat Bradshaw. And... Oops. Stop that. There we go. The camera quickly shifts backstage. <clears throat> to an argument going on in the back. <clears throat> it catches... The camera points to Rock. Uh aims at Rock, pointing and talking in a raised voice to Ric Flair. How can you even think that? I am the Rock, the people's champ, the great one. You, you are the leader of a glue factory. The Rock smirks. Ric Flair, woo, glue factory. I'm the greatest and the dirtiest player in the game! And you, you are a prior pile of Brahma bullcrap! Let's get this settled in the ring, but not against me right away. You have to earn that privilege. You have to go through my horsemen first. Can you live up to your own height, or will you smear... Or will you smear all over the ring? Woo! Ric Flair laughs and walks off as a raff rock stalks into his dressing room. We head to the ring for the next match. What are you reading? I am reading the script of this week's show, Madden Grinder. Here we go! Diamond Dallas Page versus Ravishing Rick Rude. Rick Rude gets the early upper hand. Boom! Elbow drop. Rick Rude was one of the one of the people that I almost I mean, like I said, I, I got some old, you know, some past their prime wrestlers. Uh, Rick Rude being way past his prime. Um But uh Rick Rude is one that I really wanted to work with. I, I was I was coming up with I, I just I feel Rude would fit in today's product so well still. Um Whereas some of the some of the out of date wrestlers don't fit in as well, but Rude Rude would be so well nowadays. Um, he would he would definitely be a multi time world champion today's product. Yeah, that was his original theme song in in D WCW. I grabbed the wrong one. I wanted the WWE theme song. It's me. It's me. It's DDP. So I wasn't expecting the self high five. I wasn't paying attention really. Uh, I did that quickly on the run. Like we said, I will have uh, a little bit more. T I will prep it a little bit better in two weeks, guys. Remember, we're not doing this next week. Next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the NFL Draft. We'll be streaming every pick of the NFL Draft over three days straight. 
All NFL, all the time next week. Then we'll we return in two weeks. No, please use that one. It's amazing. We'll switch back and forth between the two. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get all cut up and I'm going to start editing my own theme songs and stuff. It'd be great. It's me, it's me, it's DDP. Self high five. Dun, dun, dun. You gotta have them both. They're both just epic. Rude would be awesome in modern wrestling. Did I just hear 72 hour stream? No. I'm not going for three days straight, non stop. I am off for three days, and I will be streaming every pick of the draft during those three days. With his look, the way that that nowadays everyone's trying to get that Jinder Mahal look, his body was that before anyone was like that. No one was like that. And uh, I just, I, I think that, I mean, obviously he'd have to adjust slightly on his gimmick. Um, but still, his, his, I'm what real people want to be, I'm, what the women want. I'm what the guys want to be like. That is so still today. Very bad, Madden. I'm, I'm having a horrible time on my event. I, uh, I have literally played... I have not... Um, I've gone down to the final shard pretty much every time. Uh, I've not got a single two, you know, double the wins uh, card picked. I am still on my first card, which is the WrestleMania Edge card, and I am only a little more than halfway done, I think. Um, I will find a way to make sure I get that card, but there's zero chance I'm getting a second card unless all of a sudden my picks just start go going amazingly. Boom. <coughs> a lot of people were saying that. I've had one or two people that have clearly had good luck. Afanga is clearly having good luck, so that's good. But uh, most people, all, all of my people in my, my um, team are just constantly going, this is horrible, I can't get anything done, I can't get anything. Good. Congratulations, getting Jeff. That's awesome. I still wish that that they would do it uh, not where they just pick three cards and say, these are your three cards you can get um, based on your... I'd love to be able to have to get a common and an uncommon and all the way through and just make it that each one you have to get more and each one the matches are harder... Um, just like in, uh, like, Ring, uh, the Ring, what's it called? And Rick Rude has put out Diamond Dallas Page! That makes me happy. Congrats, Rude. Rude leaves the ring as we get the announcement for the next match. The next match is for one fall. Ooh, yeah! The Macho Man Randy Savage starts to make his way out to the ring. His opponent. What happened? 
I must have accidentally closed it. Batista! Say whoa, whoa, you are whoa. Ding, ding, ding. Undertaker is on SmackDown, which is Punk's brand. So Punk has the Undertaker. I'm sick of all these people talking out my head. I'm not sure what that means. How do you talk out someone's head? Um, yeah, Punk has him. He was on the SmackDown show this week. He did not wrestle. He just made a quick appearance to announce he was going to be in the Hell in the Cell for the new SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship. Four choices left. Not on the number four. Not under the number three. Hey, under the number two! I didn't have to pick that last item. And back to 16 choices left. Yeah, you've passed me. You've passed me, punk. These are two of the all-time greats here. Macho Man Randy Savage and Batista. I got nothing else to say about that. That's about all I got. Oh, Batista. Batista looks like he played Doink earlier in the evening as he has, like, white face paint on or something. I'm not sure what's wrong with him, but... Looks like he got a little red on his cheek there and a little white on his cheek there. out of the elbow drop except Hulk Hogan in the WrestleMania 5. You totally should, Murda. It's awesome. It is awesome. I really wish I could start over. It really is too sweet. I'm actually going to start over uh, at the beginning of the month.
It kind of sounds like murder. Yep. Sounds kind of sounds like hell freezing over it. As much as we talk about uh, super card, I understand why murder's thinking it. But murder playing a wrestling card game. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you starting over? Um, I'm I'm testing out a theory. Is what I want. Not a theory, but I want to test out something. Uh, I'm not starting over. I'm still going to be playing mine, but I'm going to be able to also check out these things. So I'm going to create like completely new account to try something. I want to see something uh, based on the daily uh, um, daily rewards. Is what I want to do. You played it for a while back, like a, for a minute? Nice. You played it for a whole minute? Come on. Let's go, Batista. Good catch. Oh, wow. No, I'm I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to start two new things. Two brand new ones from the start. Each day I'm going to log into one, get the daily reward, claim them when it happens and make that my deck. And I'm not going to use any cards other than the daily rewards. So when my deck becomes the you know, because you get 5 cards, um it'll be Four of those cards and one extra one. I'll use that extra one for leveling purpose purposes. But I'm ne and then next month I'll get cards and I'll use them for leveling. But I won't level except with daily rewards. I won't do anything except with daily rewards. I'm not going to play any matches. And at the same time, I'm going to start a second one. After I log in, I'll log out of that and I'll log into the other one and I'll play all the event stuff. But I won't ever claim a daily reward. And I want to see at the end of the month. If how much more one is over the other, does the daily reward is the daily? I suspect my daily reward deck is going to be higher than my I play it nonstop deck, um, but don't claim the daily rewards. I just kind of want to see how it works out. Um, it you know from a, a that standpoint. No, you haven't bitched about wrestling once and. And I appreciate that, and I'm trying to work other streams into my schedule uh, so that you don't have to start bitching about wrestling. <laughs> it's not hard to understand. It's very easy to understand. It's very entertaining. Everyone loves it. Real men love wrestling. No, just joking. And the Macho Man Randy Savage has beaten Batista to move on to in his win loss record to one and nothing because it's nothing to move on to. The next match is the main event of the evening. Not a real boy. All right, Yofro. End is for nothing. I don't know why I said end is. End is for one fall. Coming to the ring. Hit your smile. What the rock is cooking. Rock says. Yeah, I agree, Afanga. Um, I just want to see. It's more of a. I want to see what the difference is. I want to see the uh, the disparity, you know, in the two. I want to see what uh, how much different 
the decks are what based on it. It's, it's more of an experiment. Um, so let's see some star. Oh yeah. And his opponent. A member of the Four Horsemen, Flyin', not Flyin', just Brian Hillman! <coughs> ding, ding, ding! I love that I win these Royal Rumbles and I'm not even paying attention. I just turn it on and the game goes and I'm... Oops, wasn't paying attention. Hey, j Dog, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's just like j Dog to always show up right at the end of the stream. This is the final match of the show. Of the third show of the day. I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, having a good day. I'm uh, there we go. Stalling TEW 2005 while I can. As we see The Rock taking on the first member of the Four Horsemen, Brian Pillman. And this was apparently at Extreme Rules. Damn it. Damn it, Spec. You suck at this. Really, really got to focus and get these things straightened out. I did a lot of work this week on other stuff, and I should have used some of that time getting this prepped. I just thought, I didn't have a show coming up. There's not much to do. But there was quite a bit to do. I'm a dummy. And now, going into next week, now, next week we won't be streaming because, uh, we won't be doing it because of the draft, but going into the next show, I have to try to catch up and write week two for my show. And there goes the lid. Uh-oh, Rock's got him in a sharpshooter. Exclamation point FC. Food choice. I choose probably, probably have some wings or something. I'm trying to, don't want a burger tonight. Um, go into the Tilted Kilt in Orlando. I'm not sure what they have on their menu. But, uh,
and The Rock he makes short work of Brian Pillman. Oh, I closed it. Well, we know. No, I'm not a fish guy. Ugh, ugh. Oh, I closed it. You moron. You can't close it. You gotta read the end of the show. It's like, ah, I'll record it next week. Let's go to storyline mode. So, <clears throat> Rock wins the match, pins Brian Pillman, the three remaining horsemen, which, Thug, I, I don't know who the three remaining horsemen are. Um, if you want to tell me, it's it's Ric Flair. Aaron Anderson. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they would get to see him, so. And, uh, what's up? Oh, we're going to order Chinese. Only. I'm about to leave. No, I, don't I mean, if you wanted to, no, no okay. then that's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. And Chris Benoit. All right, there we go. So Chris Benoit, Ric Flair, and Arn Anderson come running down to the ring. And uh, they start to beat the Rock Senseless in the middle of the ring. The camera pans across the yelling crowd as the beating continues until the camera fades to black and switches to the outside again. The firework goes off over the stadium as the thunder music hits. The announcer speaks up. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the history-making return of WCW Thunder, and the action was mind-blowing. Join us again as we push on into the era of thunder. As we black screen and go to sleep. And that is... WCW Thunder, week one of our show.